It's your girl Nicole with That's So Nicole. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a continuation from yesterday's vlog and we are moving right along day seven of 12 days of vlogmas. I hope you're enjoying everything so far but this vlog is going to be all about my experience flying a different airline and also getting to experience their premium cabin. So as always, make sure that you comment, like, subscribe, and all of that good stuff. And of course, make sure your notification bells are on. All right, let's jump into the video. All right, so we're still at the airport, but we had to go out of security to come back in because we changed airlines. Huh? Oh, <laughs> but then we, um, <laughs> but then um i found a better deal with um an airline that we're partnered with so that's one of the perks of non-revving and depending on what company you work for you um you get discounts with other airlines that your company is partnered with so we switched over to Virgin Atlantic and that's who we're flying. So because Virgin doesn't have a customer service within the airport, we had to go back outside security, go to the counter, get checked in. And oh, that's where the, you gonna go there, mom? That's a bar. All right, y'all, so I was a little distracted because I was trying to pay attention to my mom and the lady that was helping her on top of record and on top of making sure that we do not miss our gate. So anyways, I was just letting y'all know that we did switch over to Virgin Atlantic and we also switched over because it was a direct flight versus my previous flight was going to be going to a state and then flying from there over to our destination. But anyways... We stopped at a bar in the airport, got us a little happy drink, and now we're on our way to our gate to board our flight. You wanna go to that one? So I must say, from the moment we stepped foot onto the flight, we were welcomed with warm greetings, smiles, and just everyone was just happy. And I love that because it just reminds me of how I greet my passengers when they're boarding my flights. But anyways, this is the front or kind of like the, the separation between their first class and then their premium section, which, which is where we will be sitting at. So as you can see, their premium section is similar to ours, except theirs is a 242. So two seats on the window size and then in the middle of the aircraft you have four seats so as we're getting settled in our seats we're looking around we love the big screens the spacious seats the leg room but now we notice that we are being offered a drink the options were sparkling water orange juice champagne or the mimosa and you see what your girl chose a mimosa and you know your girl had to get a picture with her drink okay me and mom took our first picture of the flight and cheers to that because it's going to be a long flight but yes we love the service in the premium cabin I had no idea that our seats were in the premium cabin but I'm thankful anyways so here we are getting ready to take off and the entertainment selections that they had on their screens were very very cool so you can either do entertainment or you could do my trip and it actually shows you the 3D or actually live shots of the aircraft that you're on and it flying. It has the tail view and then it also has the front view. But on your entertainment section, you can actually pick from movies, music, television shows, all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, if you have kids that are flying and they're sitting in this section, guess what? They have the kids option as well. The features that you can use that are on the screen is the flight attendant call button, which you can just tap on the screen. You can turn your reading light on straight from the screen. And a cool feature that I did use once I was in the air is connect via Bluetooth the screen to my phone. Yeah, pretty cool. 
All right, y'all, so we are in the air, and now we're enjoying all the entertainment that they have. I haven't seen the Barbie movie yet, so it's my time to shine, okay? But aside from that, they did the beverages, and since we're in the premium cabin, we do get free drinks. But I think also that free drinks are throughout the whole cabin because it's international. Don't quote me on that. I was in the premium section, not to toot my own horn, but I'm just saying. So that's all that I know is that it was free complimentary as many drinks as you want they gave us a full menu of the meals that were being offered that evening and yeah the food let me tell y'all the food was so good to be airplane food come on now look at this cheesecake oh i'm a cheesecake girl the salt and pepper shakers were so cute look at them i wanted to take them but i didn't okay but they were cute so the food was 10 out of 10 definitely recommend i had the teriyaki fried chicken fried rice and yeah once we were done eating dinner it was time to rest they came through with beverages again and then they let us rest we i watched movies i fell asleep took a nap woke back up and by the time i woke up it was almost about an hour or so out before landing no a little over two hours before landing and guess what they were back in the aisles with some more food so this time it was breakfast so the breakfast was just as good as the dinner options. I had the potatoes. I think that was a turkey sausage. I didn't eat it all. Cheese, eggs, and yeah, food on the side. But pretty much by the time we were done with breakfast, we were landing. All in all, y'all, I definitely feel like my first time flying Virgin Atlantic and also experiencing their premium cabin, I would say it was a great experience from the flight attendants to the food to the drinks to the space that we had, even though it wasn't business class, it was like their their cabin right behind business class. I just feel like there was more than enough room, the entertainment, the technology that they have on the entertainment. It was definitely top tier. So would I fly Virgin again? Absolutely. Would I want to experience their other cabin? Yes, absolutely. So we made it. I look a hot mess, but seven and a half hours later and we made it. Let me peace out. It's my